attention. All hints and tips shown here are personal experiences and serve as support. The repair is at your own risk. All repairing tools used by us in the video can be found on our webshop stellatech.com. Just follow the links in the video description. Since changing the LCD screen of the Galaxy S7 Edge also requires removing the battery and other small components, the repair is very complex. But if you have already gained some experience in smartphone repair, the repair should be well feasible. Please write us in the comments on how difficult you felt the repair. Removing the back cover. Power off the device. Remove the SIM card tray, for example with the help of a paper clip. Heat the back cover slightly along its edges with the hot air gun or alternatively with a hair dryer. Fix the suction cup in the middle of the battery cover. Try to raise up the battery cover by pulling on the suction cup and simultaneously slide the plectrum tool between battery cover and LCD frame. Take a second plectrum tool as support while the first plectrum tool stays as a placeholder. Pull both tools once around the whole battery cover to release the adhesive completely. It could be helpful to use a spatula additionally. If the adhesive is released completely, you can remove the battery cover. Then remove the coarse adhesive residuals from the battery cover. Removing the antennas. Remove 12 screws cross, which fix the three antennas. Heat the NFC antenna in the middle and release it with the help of the spudger. Simultaneously release and remove the two antennas on the top and below with the help of the spudger and the plectrum. Removing the battery. Release the battery connector. Heat the battery carefully from the front side of the LCD screen. Lever out the battery with the spudger step by step. If the battery is released completely, you can remove it. Removing components from the old LCD screen and transferring them to the new LCD screen. Release in total six connectors from the mainboard. Release one screw cross from the earphone jack. Use the tweezer to disconnect the two antenna cables from the lower mainboard. Release the mainboard with the help of the spudger and remove it carefully.
Remove three protective foils from the new LCD screen. Now you first have to test the new LCD screen as well as the new battery for functionality. To do this, lay down the mainboard and lower mainboard loosen to the new LCD screen. Connect the lower mainboard to the mainboard. Link the LCD connectors to the mainboard. Lay down the battery, loosen to the new LCD screen and link the battery connector. Power on the device and test the LCD screen for functionality. Power off the LCD screen again and remove all provisionally fixed parts. Heat the sensor flex slightly on the old LCD screen and remove it with the help of the tweezer and the spudger. Lay down the sensor flex to the new LCD screen and push it slightly with the spudger. Remove the protective foil in the area of the speaker module from the new LCD screen. Heat the speaker module on the old LCD screen slightly. Then lever it out with the help of the spudger and the tweezer and remove it. Fix the speaker module on the new LCD screen. Heat the Vibra motor on the old LCD screen slightly. Then do also remove the Vibra motor with the help of the spudger and the tweezer. Fix the Vibra motor on the new LCD screen and connect it. Remove the earphone jack with the help of the plectrum and the spudger. Tip. Take an earphone port as support to remove the earphone jack. Insert the earphone jack on the new LCD screen and connect it. Fix the earphone jack with one screw cross. Fix the mainboard on the new LCD screen by pushing slightly until it is locked in completely. Link the connectors on the mainboard. Thread the two antenna cables and fix them by pushing slightly. Then connect them on the lower mainboard by using the tweezer. Link the connector of the lower mainboard to the mainboard. Fixing the battery. 
Remove the protective foil of the battery adhesive from the new LCD screen unit. Adjust the new battery and link the battery connector as orientation end. Push the battery solid with a cloth. Finally, remove the protective foil from the battery. Fixing the antennas. Lay down the NFC antenna to the new LCD screen. Insert the upper antenna and fix it with one screw. Cross. Do also insert the lower antenna and push it slightly. Fix the antennas with 11 several screws. Cross. Fixing the back cover. First, you have to remove the adhesive residuals completely from the back cover. To do this, heat the adhesive residuals slightly step by step and remove them with the help of the spudger and the tweezer. If you have removed the coarse adhesive residuals, then do also clean the back cover with spirit and a cloth. Hint: We suggest using the original adhesive foil for the Galaxy S7 Edge to fix the battery cover. We'll show you an alternative, fixing the battery cover with double-faced universal adhesive. Cut out four strips of the universal adhesive and fix them along the outer edges of the battery cover. Push them solid with the spudger. Remove the protective foil from the adhesive strips with the help of the tweezer. Lay down the battery cover on the LCD frame, adjust it and fix it by pushing once around with the cloth. Switch on the LCD screen and test it for functionality. Insert the SIM card tray. If you want to know how to replace only the battery of the Galaxy S7 Edge, then look at the following video. Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge Battery Replacement. All shown tools and spare parts can be found on our webshop, stellatech.com.